thanks for stopping by. Uh, appreciate you coming by. I'm glad to be here. Uh, you know, it was a pretty pretty bad wreck. It wasn't as hard a hit as uh, 15 years ago with the Firebird, but, uh, you know, it was enough to break my back. We still don't know exactly what happened with that, but we're looking into it. And, uh, I just wanted to really get you down here and thank you. There's so many people on Yellow Bullet. I don't know who to thank first, you know, guys that I really don't even know, fans, but just everybody, thanks for your all well wishes. I'm here and I'm going to get back in shape and I'm going to get back out there. We're just uh, trying to, you know, I'll start rehab on Tuesday and, uh, you know, this year's pretty well right off. Bickle's got the car and they're fixing the car and, uh, We'll get that back shaped up, but I'm not going to rush anything. When I'm ready, I'm ready. You know, that'll just be the way it is. You know, I'll, I'll make my decision uh, at that time. Right now, I'm looking forward to the rehab start on Tuesday, and then after about a month, I guess they'll know how I'm progressing and uh, see how we're coming along, you know, how quick I'm healing. And right now, I can walk. I can sit down. I can sit up. I was walking a day after the surgery, but... I completely broke the vertebrae in half. It wasn't a fracture, like they had said. It was a, it was a break, and they had to go in and uh, pin the one above it, pin the one below it, and build kind of a cage around it to hold it together there. So it was a pretty drawn out ordeal. But uh, thank God I, I had a good doctor in uh, Georgia and got a good doctor here, and we'll just keep at it, you know. And, Get it fixed up. Yeah, I, uh, this is my living room here at the house, and uh, I'm gonna start going to the shop as soon as I get the rehab deal going, you know, a couple hours at a time, but I needed an office, so my wife's not real happy about that. We brought a friend of mine, brought a desk and a chair, and brought one of my computers over from the office so I can work here and do my work, so. She's not real happy about that, Liz, but she's she's okay. She'll, she'll go along with it. Uh, I wanna thank the Moroso boys for coming up with this. I don't know if you can see that close, but, uh, <laughs> this is Tony Christian here in the nurse uniform. Looks pretty good, I think. So I got this sent to me after I got back home. And then Tony, of course, called. Tony likes it. I mean, I find that a little strange, but he likes it. So Actually, I don't find it strange that he likes it. <laughs> so anyway, the Rosso boy sent this, made it up, and uh, it's Tony's head. And I don't know who, definitely ain't Tony's body, I can tell you that. Uh... And everybody signed the back. It was pretty cool. You know, some of the people that hardly ever get thanked, you know, but you realize that when you're in a situation like that, like that crash, was pretty violent, knocked the wind out of me. But uh, the NHRA guys and their safari team, I mean, there's nobody better. They were right on top of me. They, uh, you know, didn't crowd me. I, I actually got out of the car on my own. How I got up with a broken back, I have no idea. Nobody and figured out out yet, but uh, then I had to be supported up. I didn't realize I had broke my back till I got out, you know, but, um, uh, you know, once I got up and I, I needed their support. But again, I just want to say those guys were right there on the spot. And, you know, again, there was no issues with the racetrack. It was just, you know, shoots didn't deploy. I mean, didn't get the shoots out on time. That's as simple as it gets, you know, and, uh, uh, those cars at 240 are pretty goddamn fast and anything can happen, you know, so it, it, it had nothing to do with track prep or any of that. It was just uh, one of those deals that happens. I guess it's not if, it's when, you know, an art, art deal, you know, you try to be as safe as you can. But, uh, you know, those guys were just right there. I mean, I barely got stopped and there was guys out the car already and down all the way down to the ambulance crew, get me out of the racetrack. Everybody involved, the calls I got from NHRA, I just like to thank all those guys. It's it, it really goes to show you that we, when you race for professional people, like I try to be as professional as I can racing. And uh, when you race for somebody like that, that's when you really, really, really appreciate. It. Right now, the plan is to try to go at least one or two of the days. Lounge if I get tired, you know, I just don't know how long I can stay on my feet, how long I can sit, how long I can walk. But uh, everybody kind of invited me. Alex said he'd get me whatever I need, you know, a golf cart or uh, whatever. Ricky said I could lay down in his lounge if I have to. Ricky Smith, and so I, I'd really like to go if I can at all go. Well, that's my plan is to go to English Town. If the rehab guy says 
don't do it, then we'll talk about it. But you know me, I'll probably show up anyway. But <laughs> Anyway, Jim, uh, I really appreciate you coming by. And like I said, my biggest thing, I don't want to leave anybody out, anybody I didn't thank, just from my fans to the safety guys to the hospital to, to everybody has been really great. All my sponsors have called and, you know, you realize how many friends you got when something like this happens. So, uh, again, thanks. So if I miss anybody on Yellow Book, because I ain't the best typer, so but once I get up and going, maybe I'll answer some of the emails I've got. But uh, uh, I really appreciate everybody reaching out to me and uh, offering me their best wishes. And I'll do the best I can for you guys and get out there as soon as I can.